Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. With all my heart. Hey. With all my heart, I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart, Lord, I worship you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. Are we together? There is, there is a judicial dimension of prayer. It's the Lord that governs petitions. Are we together? There is a name that God is called. And prayer activates the operation of that dimension. He is called the judge. Are we together? I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. The key to effective prayer, the kind of petition and supplication that will touch heaven is the kind that must be done in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the access code to the throne room. The access code, the mystery that opens the gates of the throne room is the name of Jesus. John 14, quickly please. John 14 verse 13. The name of Jesus is the access code. There is no other name that can open the heavens. It says, and I, give us in, in um, um, King James, King James please. It says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in your name, in the name of a ministry, it says, whatsoever ye shall ask, for as long as you do it in my name, it says, that will I do. I will supervise, see to it, that because my name is upon it, I will make sure it is answered. That the Father may be glorified whatsoever you ask in my name chapter 16 verse 23 same john 16 verse 23 go ahead and read it is projected inside and outside one to read and in that day ye shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you aha uh -huh, whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he will give it you the name of Jesus is the access code. Are we together? The attention of the Father is only attracted when any man stepping in the name, standing in the office, and upon the strength of that which Christ has done. The name of Jesus, a representation of his finished work and his legal standing before God is the same basis we have. The Bible says, let us therefore come before him boldly. Access the throne of grace boldly. Not in our righteousness. Not based on our goodness. Are we together? But we stand upon the name. The name of Jesus is a representation of all that Christ did. The name of Jesus reminds the Father of the revelation of what Jesus did. Which is a revelation of his love for man. Listen. You will never get anything from God based on your self-righteousness. It's got to be the law of petition is that you must stand in the righteousness of Christ to be heard. Because the Bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags. So we come in his name. Not based on our qualification. Are we together? We are going to pray and say, Father, I make these petitions tonight 
as touching your righteousness as touching your love as touching your willingness to answer me lift your voice and pray go ahead and pray go ahead and pray the name of Jesus Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Something special, supernatural about your name. Jesus. Something Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, listen. If you must pray the kind of prayer that heaven will respond to, then that prayer must be in accordance to the will of God. Now, don't play with this. This is where I believe a lot of people get cheated in the ministry of prayer. Their prayer may be heartfelt. Their prayer may be in the name of Jesus, but it's often not in accordance to the will of God. Listen, when you begin to make petitions in the realm of the spirit, imagine yourself standing in a law court. Give us Isaiah 41 verse 21. Listen to what the prophet teaches us about prayer. Isaiah 41 verse 21, please. Everyone, please read. One, two, go. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Judah. Why should the door be open to you? Bring forth your strong reason. The prayer of lamentation only gives you a psychological consolation, but I assure you it will not touch heaven. Every challenge in your life is the accuser's voice over your destiny. And if you are to speak, you are standing before that court of justice your petition on what ground should i be blessed father your word says if i am willing and obedient i will eat the good of the land lord i am willing and i've been obedient to your principles therefore i deserve to eat the good of the land i place a demand on the strength of this reality that's how to pray you don't pray emotional prayer you don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense the only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God which is a testament of his will show me why God must give you a child show me why God must give you a child are we together show me why God must give you a job show me why God must give you a husband because I'm beautiful it's not in the Bible are we together it's in your brain but it's not in the bible show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family bring forth your strong reasons let me show you one more scripture i found this today and it blessed me isaiah 43 verse 26 
Learn this. I'm teaching you the, the legal dimension of prayer. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Please read. One to read. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that ye may be justified. It's your Bible. The word put me in remembrance does not mean I have forgotten. Give me a basis to respond upon your life. Like you tell a judge in the constitution subsection this it says this and that and the judge says this is true. Put me in remembrance. Let us preach together. I'm a judge who is there to protect you but give me the basis so that I can make that decree. We pray a lot of careless prayer. Prayer that is not word based. If you are a pastor here, don't allow anybody to climb your mic and teach nonsense and teach opinions. It must be on the basis of the word. If we are praying for Nigeria, what is the basis? Just because we want to intercede. It's rubbish. It looks spiritual, but it will not be answered. You see the difference between a shrine, a herbalist, and a Christian who prays. Are we together? Please take seriously. It looks like a little secret, but it's a powerful one. When you find it, something that is a basis, you can hold on to it. When you read Isaiah 38, the Bible talks about a man called Ezekiel. I mean Hezekiah. And the Bible says, prophet Isaiah came and told Hezekiah, pack up your things. You will not recover from this sickness you will die <laughs> but Hezekiah knew that if you fund the project of the building of the Lord's house the devourer should be far from you you should live long Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to plead on the strength of his sacrifice to heaven have you read in your Bible the basis upon which the baptism of the Gentiles happened in the house of a man called Cornelius. He said, Cornelius, there is a reason why I'm visiting your house. Your giving, your arms, and your prayer, you have supported the cause of the kingdom. There was a woman who died in the Bible called Dorcas. When she died, there was a basis to bring her back to life. The widow said, look, she sold clothes for us. And, and, and I don't know, was it Paul or, or, or Peter now? Peter had to say, no, 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 no. There is a basis for this woman to return back. I want to ask you a question. Why do you think you should not suffer in 2016? Because I'm a Christian, you are joking. They are a kind of people that the Bible says he reproves kings for them. Are you part of it? Before you claim a blessing, find out whether you qualify for the conditions. The Bible does not talk to everybody. In the Bible, demons spoke. Donkeys spoke. Where is your rema? Where is the word that you will use as your basis? Are we together? When they stopped Daniel from praying, the scripture Pastor Alpha shared, listen, when Solomon dedicated the temple, Part of the covenant he entered with God was that anyone who turned to the Jerusalem temple, let that be a basis. Lord, remember the seeds that were used to build this temple. This temple remains an altar representing the sacrifice of men. So whoever turns to it, remember men sowed their things to raise this as a memorial. And when they wanted to destroy Daniel, if Daniel prayed closing his womb, he would have died for nothing. He opened the window onto Jerusalem and he started praying. And when they caught him, God said, Will I now violate my word? And he sent an angel to protect them. Are we together? Don't pray serious prayer until you gather the spiritual arsenals that are responsible. You've been burying. You don't just stand up and say, I, I, Lord, I want a child. What is all this nonsense? That's not prayer. It's called grumbling and complaining. It's called murmuring. Read Hebrews 2, 3, 4 and see what happened to people who murmured. The earth opened and swallowed them. 
what is the basis lord i want my church to grow just because you think you're a nigerian no, there must be a basis many christians don't read their bibles they don't study the word they don't know the provision that is made for them many preachers read the bible just to preach they read the part that is responsible for their sermon you must be well equipped with the word when satan struck jesus said it is written this is the basis this is the basis man shall not live by bread alone but by every word and satan said is true you have been attacking without scriptures you have been attacking emotionally satan get thee behind me and he will ask why he says lift up your head o ye gates the gates replied who is this king of glory why should i open up and they said the lord strong and mighty you must pray according to the word let me give us the last key the bible says to always wrap up your prayer with thanksgiving a very simple but powerful mystery philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7 it says be anxious for nothing right be anxious for nothing but in everything he says by prayer and supplication then with it thanksgiving he says make your request known make your request known be anxious for nothing but in everything as you pray not by complaining make your request with, with thanksgiving when jesus lifted five loaves and two fish he didn't say lord are you watching your name go down the drain the bible says he gave thanks thanksgiving thanksgiving right thanksgiving thanksgiving confidence this is the confidence we have the moment we ask anything in his name he will do it so you say lord i thank you because i know that this is done i thank you because i know this is done and let me tell you you want to take it to another dimension you can pray a prayer that is just full of thanksgiving no complaint lord jesus i thank you the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells there are dimensions that salvation brings but joy is the key joy is the key that's why depression is associated with failure joy in the holy ghost are we together we are going to pray we are going to pray use the the next few minutes to travel seriously please i am pleading with you be serious be serious be serious don't don't when i say be serious i don't mean stand up or sit down that's not or, or shout or lie down that's not what i'm saying put your heart in this thing that's why we never give you a prayer request here without giving you a scriptural backing that's the difference between herbal herbal witchcraft and herbal solution and a scriptural solution are we together you make petitions not according to your pain oh god i've been crying till now and god says no there is a system please hear me cain and abel were brothers they both offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected that you are in a great house like this is no guarantee I feel like giving you one more key let me share with you one more key one mystery listen one mystery of answered prayer listen please is praying with the consciousness of the covenant that governs the spiritual house the spiritual tribe and the man of god who supplies grace and faith for you now listen this is very powerful you can make petitions on the strength of the covenant god has with a man are we together this is the revelation of the god of abraham 
the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. What is it about them? There was a covenant. That was why God had the prayer of Ishmael. Although Ishmael was a son that came by mistake, that was not God's business. There was still a covenant connection. And when Ishmael cried, God had Abraham and remembered the covenant. Are we together? You can make petitions in heaven on the strength of access that has come when, listen, listen, the move of God on earth is through covenants. God finds a man that represents his program for a season and enters a covenant with that man and whoever associates with that man is open to that dimension God had a covenant with that man with. So you can access open heavens on the strength of the personal covenant that God had with a man or God had with a house. That was Daniel's secret. There was a covenant that God had with the temple in Jerusalem. Elijah had a covenant with God and when Elijah knew his personal faith could not get this he said where is the Lord God of Elijah Lord I approach this thing not just on my personal faith I come based on the personal covenant that you have it's not witchcraft it can be exaggerated but when it is understood you will receive tremendous results there are people riding on the wings of the tears of people are we together when the devil afflicted Papa Oyedeko's wife demons he was casting out of some people refused to leave his wife he prayed on the strength of his secret place as an apostle and a prophet of God and that situation seemed to defy him and then they went to Papa Adeboye his spiritual father and Adeboye said Lord I have a covenant with you that I will not bury any of my children. Remember that covenant. That devil gave way. At once he gave way. Listen. There are altars that can speak for men. It's a provision in the kingdom to give you easy breakthrough. Are we together? If you do not understand this, you will die like a chicken. Not every result is on the basis of your personal faith. You can invoke covenants. And God is a God that is a covenant keeping God. There are men and women on earth on the strength of certain assignments that God gave them. There are ministries that God entered a personal covenant with them. It's a covenant of answered prayer. Let me tell you one of the covenants that is in Koinonia is a covenant of answered prayer. That's why we submit prayer requests. It's a revelation God gave me. We bring every threat before God and every issue that is brought before God will command open heavens. That's why you find out as we pray, you begin to see manifestations. It's not just about spiritual growth. It's a covenant. It's a covenant. Let me tell you, God does not answer me ministerially just because I am anointed. There is a covenant. That's why you hear us sing that song, My altar is calling you. There is an altar. There is a secret place. One covenant we have with God in this ministry is that we will never beg for bread. Are we together? God gave me an instruction one time and I put one 1,000 naira on the ground. Plenty, up to 100,000. And the Lord said, walk on it and pray. And I walked on it and prayed through the night. It was a covenant of wealth, not personal covenant. A covenant that covered everything. That no matter what it is, God will shake the heavens and raise helpers. That's why you hear testimonies like this, our brother. It's not a result from personal faith. He's even surprised. Where will 7.5 million come? It's a power of covenant. At a point in our prayer tonight, we will pray. Not on the strength of your personal faith. Lord, remember the ministry I'm part of. Lord, remember what I'm doing. I'm showing you deep keys. So you don't just pray foolishly and not get results. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. My altar is calling you Oh God My altar is calling you Oh God My secret place is calling you Oh God Take my praise Take my praise is calling you. Yeah. Take my praise. Take my praise. It's calling you. 
One more time, let's sing it. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, Hallelujah. Praise God. We are going to pray. Listen. The first prayer point for time's sake. We are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who are that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. Are we together? Who are that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. He said, before Zerubbabel, thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout, grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Speak to the mountain. The Bible says, if you speak to that mountain, it will give way. If you speak, Kabatalapatia. Oh, I speak. I speak. I speak. I prophesy. I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life every limitation mocking the power of god in my life i challenge you in the name of jesus i command that dagon you must bow i command that dagon you must bow i command that dagon you must bow that dagon of joblessness that dagon of poverty that dagon of stagnation oh i command you i command you in the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, If thou shalt say to this mountain, not any mountain, the mountain has a name, you must call it. Don't say, God bless me. God favor me. No, no, no. You need to be specific. Lord, I am tired of stagnation in this area mention it and command what you want to do the bible says declare ye that thou mayest be justified lift your voice and pray command it call it by name poverty i call you by name barrenness i call you by name i command you clear up my path limitation i call you by name i call you by name i call you by name you are a devil i command you to give way i tell you mountains are moving Mountains are moving. They must move. They
they must move there is grace tonight challenge them call them by name Rakatatata. they must move if thou shalt say to this mountain if thou shalt say to this mountain oh i command you i command you i command you that dagon you must leave god's people tonight hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord are we together there is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth it is never in god's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering uh -uh. but there is a mystery of exemption there are certain things that are written judgments you cannot stop the judgment it must come but what happens is that there is an exemption when the flood was about to come he told Noah build an ark this flood no one can stop it from coming but I can exempt you build an ark are we together Pharaoh had a dream a famine was coming after seven years nothing will stop it but there was a mystery a strategy was revealed to, to Joseph all through scripture there have been famines in Samaria there was famine but the prophet was not hungry there was a mystery that sustained him when it was time for breakthrough he knew what to do the bible says there was a particular location please hear me hear me you have to convince yourself that you are different don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy the bible says when men say there is a casting down are we together we want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through agreed there's a lot of financial hardship agreed there's a lot of downsizing but do you not know that when men say there is a casting down for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it are we together are we together Isaiah 45 verse 1 and 3 quickly please media help us Isaiah 45 my spirit is fired up thus saith the Lord to his anointed Cyrus whose right hand I have holden I have to subdue nations before him what did God say he will do I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lift gates and he says the gate shall not be shut next verse I will go before you say amen, amen. the last time God went before certain people in praise when they got there they found out the people had died when God goes before you he makes every crooked path straight he says I will go before you and make the crooked places what straight I will break in pieces come on now that's what happens when God is before you I will break in pieces he didn't say I will open I will break it in pieces and cut in thunder the brass of iron this is a prophecy for you now verse 3 and I will give you the treasures of darkness hold on listen there are treasures reserved for times of recession they are called treasures of darkness they are not the one you see with your physical eyes they are reserved the moment there is famine God will say come there is a brook cherub for you I can lead you to a place I like you to pray and say Lord I invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life I cannot be part of the tears of men lift your voice and pray it's for your glory pray for myself for my family
Are you praying, Koinonia? I will give you the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places, the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches. Pray, you're not wasting your time. I exempt myself. Hallelujah. 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 Look at me. There are two instruments of exemption from scripture. Are we together? The first instrument of exemption is the blood. When the last plague was about to be revealed, he told them, he said, get a lamb. Cut that lamb. Drain the blood. Put it upon your lintel. Whether you have personal faith or not, that's not the issue. Once I see the blood, I pass by. Listen, it was a mystery. As far as the angel of death was concerned, he killed everybody. But when he got to some homes, they were already dead. And so he passed. There was no need killing them. The blood was a sign that someone had died for them. And so the angel passed. And everywhere he did not see it. Let me tell you. There is a mark upon the saints. Please hear me. This thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit. It has eyes. It knows where to go to. Are we together? I'd like you to pray and plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family. Lift up your voice and pray. Oh, plead the blood. The blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident. Supernatural exemption from terrorism. Supernatural exemption from wickedness. Supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness. No, 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 no death. No death. It's still a glorious year. Multiplied grace, influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we praying? The second instrument of exemption is called favor. The second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor. Are we together? Psalm 45. My altar is calling you. 44, sorry, verse 3, quickly. Psalm 44. We are going to read Psalm 44, verse 3. Then we'll go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Please take notes, media. 44, verse 3. Then we'll go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Read with me Psalm 44, verse 3. One to read. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand, thine arm, the light of thy countenance. What was the mystery that made that happen? Because thou. 41 from verse 9 to 11 please. Read it. Yea. My own familiar friend. In whom I trusted. Which did eat of my bread. Had lifted up his heel against me. Does that look like the times we live in? Betrayed. 
betrayer of people. Next verse. But thou, O God, be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may requite them. How will that happen? Next verse. Because my enemy. So every time your enemy wants to triumph, favor is not just for collecting things. It's an instrument for triumph. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let favor exempt me. Lift your voice and pray. The wickedness of men to destroy us. The betrayal of men to mock our God including those close to us they may be family members but he says oh god this is how i will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired we're praying don't be tired isaiah 54 please isaiah 54 we're reading the first three verses we want to challenge stagnation and barrenness of every kind it's time for you to move forward are we together want to read sing oh barren that did not bear it says break forth into singing and cry aloud thou that did not travel with child it says for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the lord verse 2 hallelujah enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation it says spare not enlarge lengthen thy cord and lengthen thy stakes why verse 3 for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the gentiles and make the desolate cities i'd like us to pray we are going to pray the prayer of jabez oh god enlarge my territory lift your voice and pray this dimension this level take me higher take me deeper enlarge my coast increase my influence enlarge my coast increase my influence Hallelujah. 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 There is a way men get preserved. The next half of the month is often the time that comes with catastrophe. People dying like chickens anyhow. Headache sending people to their grave. Let me show you two verses that will settle the issue of the fear divine preservation. God is committed to his word. Isaiah 65 verse 18. Read it with all your heart. And then we'll go to verse 19. And read down to 24 or 23. Are we together? Everybody read please. Verse 8. Verse 8. Did I say 18? I'm sorry. Verse 8. 65 verse 8. Go ahead, read. One to read. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. Why? For there is a blessing in it. 
so will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all so as the destroyer is going around there are some people he says because there is a blessing he said destroy it not are we together go to verse 19 verse 19 same verse we are reading down to 23 I want you to receive it and believe it with all your heart and I will rejoice in Joshua Selman and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her not the voice of what next verse there shall be no more then infant of days hold on premature death there shall be no more infant of days he says not an old man that has not what filled his days he says for a child will be how old it's in your bible for a child shall die a hundred years old but a sinner being a hundred years old shall be a cause 21 we're reading down to 23 and they shall build houses and inhabit them listen when the waster comes it makes you labor when it's time to enjoy something happens but he said they shall build houses and inhabit them they shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them 22 for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands last verse You are going to pray and say, Lord, by the blessing, preserve me. The blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally. Lift your voice and pray. Preserving you from destruction. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing upon it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing upon it. And the Destroy it not. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for nigeria hallelujah by the grace of god we are not only spiritual people we are agents of national transformation are we together we are not irresponsible citizens in this nation it's obvious that the leaders and the governments of nations are confused they act bold but we know they do not know what they are doing and we're not surprised because the Bible said so. Are we together? But let me show you a scripture as we pray for Nigeria. It's a scripture that will bless you. Shibarakoto Supratia. Isaiah 62. We're going to read verse 6. And we're going to read verse 7. Then we will go to verse 1. 6 and 7. Go ahead and read want to read i have set watchmen upon thy walls O nigeria which shall never hold thy peace day or night keep not silent god is saying i want to move but i have set up certain people whose voice must be heard before i move he called them watchmen they are upon the walls and he says do not keep quiet he says give him no rest ah. till he establish till he makes nigeria a place of the earth 
give him no rest make that petition make that petition verse 1 for Zion's sake I will not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth let's read verse 2 and 3 it's a prophecy about Nigeria and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name the last verse thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of God and a royal diadem listen we all know that there is a prophecy about Nigeria I've taught it here in one of the messages are we together Nigeria is not just a country Nigeria is a holy land Nigeria is to Africa what Jerusalem is to the world are we together you can accurately use Nigeria as a spiritual map to gauge the happenings of God Nigeria is the firstborn of God upon Africa I've shared it again and again the name Nigeria is a mystery it was not it was not just an amalgamation uh, of the northern and southern protectorate by Lord Lugard it was a mystery are we together there's no room I would have shown you in Isaiah 18 the prophecy about Nigeria that speaks about the people the dark-skinned people coming far from Ethiopia is a prophecy about what will begin to happen to Nigeria are we together now I have seen it many times in the visions of God that there will come an arising of men and women who will do great and mighty things for the kingdom are we together that's the reason why when you look at the map of Nigeria you will see a mystery there the letter Y is the name of God upon Nigeria it's a coded language it's not River Niger and Benway listen it is a code like Julius Baga will build a building and put their mark he put his mark upon Nigeria water is one of the five elements of the supernatural through which God speaks to men and he used water to write his name and that confluence meets in a place called Lokoja the word Ja is the ancient name Yah is God's own name it's not the name of a state it's God's prophecy about Nigeria lift your voice and say Lord it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise lift your voice and pray Kapatakarika Nigeria God's firstborn Nigeria the holy land God's land Nigeria God's own nation Nigeria God's own nation Lord we command every spirit Lord we command every power we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the east hallelujah listen listen every kingdom has a headquarters the headquarters in every kingdom is the spiritual point of reference the throne room is the point of reference in heaven everything in heaven emanates from the throne room it is God's administrative center of activity are we together Washington DC is the administrative center Abuja is the administrative center prophetically speaking God has a prophetic center in Mount Zion the side of the north the city of the great king there is a location men can stand and prophesy from that point he says promotion comes not from the east or the west or the south he never mentioned the north the bible says he are compounds this mountain long enough he said turn ye not words even in geography there is what we call true north there is a mystery to it we are standing here in the north prophetically speaking we have a territorial advantage listen 
I want you to take advantage. I'm teaching you deep prophetic mysteries of intercession. You don't just pray foolishly. Your soil is matching the north. The earth is one of the elements of the supernatural. There are five of them. The first is the wind responsible for sound. The second is fire. The third is water. The fourth is the earth. The fifth is light. Every spiritual communication of God comes through these conduits. And the earth is a universal point of contact. We are standing in the north. From this point, he said, from where thou art, lift up your eyes. I'd like us to prophesy to the borders of Nigeria. We are standing upon the north. The side of the north. The city of the great king. Stretch your hands to the heavens. Speak to the gates. We call our gates peace. We command the spiritual borders of this nation to be secured. Secured from terrorism. We command peace upon our walls. Upon our gates, hallelujah! Hallelujah! We'll soon round up. We're praying. I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused, no matter how much you succeed in life. If your family members don't catch along they will draw you back are we together are we together we are going to pray there are many families suffering you see a family of 10 people only one breadwinner is a cause are we together it's a cause but we are going to pray there are many families that are dead once upon a time they were rich once upon a time they were blessed once upon a time they were walking now they were dead in Ezekiel 37 it says son of man can these bones live they were an army they were a family one time but something happened and they died they lost their structure but he says son of man if you want them to come to life prophesy he said I prophesied as I was commanded the instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy I like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family they can live again open your mouth and prophesy open your mouth and prophesy I call every dead thing in my family come back to life come back to life every dead business come back to life hallelujah hallelujah now look up please we're rounding up we're coming back to ourselves now to pray please listen i have taught us again and again there is a law that governs greatness please hear me there is a law that governs being relevant as powerful as prayer is the bible says the gift of a man make it room for him the gift of a man the price to come out of the realm of struggle is the price to ascend in value for as long as you are on the begging side you will remain a slave forever are we together for as long as you are in the begging side please hear me I don't want to fool you not everybody is feeling the heat in Nigeria. There are people whose value and gift is too great for them to feel any heat. Are we together? 
there are people this is the best year so far for them no 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 I, i'm not saying by faith it literally is every day is christmas for them because their gift cannot but open doors listen the greatest gift a man can have is the anointing of the holy spirit you don't refrigerate it you don't have to wear suits for it to walk it doesn't need battery it doesn't need voting oh come on a man who pays the price to carry the power of the holy ghost is a man who will never beg for bread a man who will never die in complex seek for a man who is discreet and wise that you may set him over the affairs of egypt and they checked around there was no man anointed enough except joseph and at once he became a prime minister are we together everybody needs the power the unction the anointing of the holy spirit with all due respect and with all humility and to the glory of god i will never beg till jesus comes it will never it's not no 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 it's not a prophecy i'm not prophesying i'm telling you what will never happen under the sun again even if one gallon of oil is ten thousand i will never beg again you know why because for as long as there is one demon roaming around the earth my life is still useful you may not like me but there is a treasure in earthen vessels and every time you are buffeted by hell you will need what i represent question who is ready to pay you for what you carry if there is no man willing to pay you for what you carry you will feel the heat of what is happening in this country i don't want to deceive you we cry because we think we are carrying degrees and so government should give us jobs no it doesn't work that way are we together in any economy listen in any economy private organizations are the ones responsible for employment there is only so much the government can do and private enterprises are very few in nigeria and africa and they are at their state of infancy they do not have the capacity to employ labor and reduce unemployment waiting for government to help you is a mirage there is a mystery job said there is a part which no foul noel the webs of the lion has not gotten there there is something a man can carry that will make you useful men will pay you and call it a privilege fill me up Till I overflow, I want to go. I want to go. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. I want to run over. Sing one more time. Lord, put something upon my life that will force men to look for me. Lift your voice and pray. Place an anointing, oh God, upon my life. Place an ability. Come on, pray. An anointing. That will cause Gentiles to come to your light, their kings to the brightness of thy rising. Pray an unction from heaven, an ability. That makes me an endangered species. An unction from the throne room that will make men seek me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Shakata prakata rekotosh. Hallelujah.
Alleluia. Alleluia. Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift. It takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. Look for grace. Grow to become valuable. Are we ready? No, 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 not Proverbs 18:16. That's not what I said. Mark chapter 1, please. Mark 1, 36, 37. He said, and Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after him. And this is what happened. Next verse. May that be your prophecy in Jesus' name. Go ahead and read it. One to read. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. What is it that you must carry that will make men look for you? They will travel from Lagos and say, Pastor Alpha, you are the only one carrying what I need. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, every potential locked up in me, every gifting, every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures, to come with their bounties, every unction, every prophetic anointing, every healing anointing, every teaching grace, every entrepreneurial ability, every leadership ability, every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me I cry for a release. I cry for an activation. I'm tired of looking for help. I am tired of begging men. Oh God, activate a grace upon my life. Shabakatata. Pray from your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. We're going to sing this song, God's Ability. Sing it with all your heart and I want to prophesy upon you. Are we together? There is an unction that can come upon you. Can come upon your business. Can come upon your academics. Can come upon your life. You may be gifted, but is your gift anointed? It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing. When little brings much, it is anointed. When much brings much, it is scientific. When much brings little, it is demonic. But when little brings much, it has to be supernatural. God's ability. God's ability. He's working in me. He's working in me. you see lifting this ministry recession proof pain proof stress proof by the unction of the spirit rising like an edifice as though Satan does not exist by a mystery no gate of hell can unravel what can it be it's God's ability God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, but I want to speak some blessings upon you. It says, Early will I seek you to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. It's one thing to see the hand of God in a sanctuary. Help her, please. And then it's another thing to see it in your life. It's one thing to see God move in koinonia. But it's another thing to see it work in your life. 
I want to pray for you. No, no. Something must land in your life. Please. I want you to believe this with all your heart. One of the gifts that God has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers. We never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering. And it was a light God gave me. It says you will call on man and a nation will answer. I want to pray for you. There is an unction that makes men come to your aid. In the name of Jesus. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In this night of prayer. I release that anointing. All over the building. Inside and outside. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that unction right now. The unction that draws help us. I tell you fire is falling on people. The unction from heaven that calls help us to your life. Strange help us. Hallelujah. We're still praying. We're rounding up this prayer session. I want to pray for you. Brothers and sisters, if I tell you I do not know what the favor of God looks like, I will be lying to you. There is such a thing called the Esther anointing. God gave me this revelation in 2010 that there is an anointing called the Esther anointing. The Bible says Esther found favor on everyone who looked at her. It was like a cloth she was wearing. Once you look at them, the mantle comes upon you. You must favor them. Listen, there is such a grace. When men make contact, for as long as their eyes can see you, something must force resources from them. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven, by the mystery of favor, Shakata baratata. I see this falling on people. Receive the Esther anointing. Now, now, now. Receive the Esther anointing. Enough is enough. I prophesy it inside, outside, everywhere, online. Receive the Esther anointing. Tatapaka. Beketeleketa. The Esther anointing. Strange favor. Strange testimony. Strange favor. I prophesy it. Let it enter your spirit. I activate it. Let it work in your life. Strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Listen. If you want to pay your way through life, you will die young. It's not about being rich. It's about being favored. It's not all about money. There are some things money cannot do. Are we together? Favor. We are going to pray for speed. Speed. It's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time listen there is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives it's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow when a man buys his first car at 70 years it's not a testimony are we together when our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel is a cost many parents are waiting for their children to build for them but the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children i want to pray for you there is such a thing as speed there is such a thing as speed some of us are moving god is helping us but if you are to be sincere your pace is slow financially is too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage 
first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children it's a cost are we together the Lord must send speed to our lives some of us the, the things you plan from January till now not one you have not ticked it one no you need grace there, there is a grace that accelerates men are we together let me share this with you with all humility I went to check my list of the things that I was trusting God would do in my life I found out that certain things that were least for other years God had gone ahead to start doing them and I said Lord you are faithful and the Lord said if you trust me I can surprise you to the end of the year that's what God said and I believe it for us all we're praying we've been trusting God for a place of counseling you know because of the crowds that come and just last week a family I think they are represented here just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge that's the gift of men are we together the gift of men there's a song in my heart I'm not Yoruba you know the song who knows the song we need to sing that song do you know the song? Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. Oh, see you. Oh, see you. Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. Oh, see you. We're rounding up. Don't worry. Protocol make arrangement for as many buses, even if they have to come back multiple times. Don't be afraid. We're going to make sure if it's possible to transport everybody, we'll send you. So don't be afraid of time. Praise the Lord. It's part of the wicked, stupid things that poverty does for people. God wants to bless you. You are thinking, we curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Focus and concentrate. We are blessed enough to take you home. Don't rob yourself of the miracle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to speak from the depth of my heart. You need speed. This prayer session is important. You need speed in your life. Some of us, you are too slow. Everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise. You are limping when others are flying. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. He said, they will mount up with wings as eagles, riding through the current. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace that makes men catch up. Some of you, it's not even speed. What you need is restoration first, before speed. Are we together? Hallelujah. Someone we used to know many years ago, we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year. And when we saw that person this year, it was an apology. It was horrible. He was looking like a thief after many years. Do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you? The only thing growing in your life is your age. It's a curse. Are we together? Don't say you are too young to be blessed. Don't allow the curse that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40. And they say you are too young. Too young for what? You are not too young for trouble. Why should you be too, too young for blessings? When trouble comes, people say it's all right. But when blessings come, they say, well, how did this happen? I want to pray with, for you. Let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ at the count of three may that unction for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people Lord I'm praying at the count of three release grace oh God move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed Speed! Speech!
Speed. I command speed. Where you have been crawling, start running. Start running. Start running. Where you have been running, start flying. Start flying. By prophecy, start flying. By prophecy, start flying. Pursue, overtake, recover without fail. I prophesy to you. Pursue, overtake, pursue, overtake, pursue, overtake, recover. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. In two minutes, I'd like you to thank God. Expressions of deep gratitude. Lord, I thank you. Speak to him in your language. Expressions of deep gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. Hallelujah. 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 Please let me have your attention, everybody. There are people here right now. I'm going to make an altar call, two altar calls in one. Please, no moving around. Let's respect what God is doing now. There are people here. Probably you just came the first time you have been here. You have never truly made a commitment. Please listen. Don't be distracted, people outside. And many who are following us online, there are thousands of people following us online on our social media platforms. If you are here, please keep standing, everybody. I know we are tired, but let's keep standing to encourage them. There are people here who, whilst the service was going on as we were praying, the Holy Ghost was speaking to you and saying you need Jesus in your life. Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody is a product of God's grace and mercy. No man condemns you. But at the same time, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. You are here, you've never made that commitment. Or at one point, you've made the commitment, but then for some reason, you found yourself living the things of God. You were angry at God. You were offended. Several things happened in your life. And you're saying, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Wherever you are, these two categories, it's my pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Please make it fast. Our time is gone. There are people outside. Koinonia, I appreciate them. The Holy Ghost is speaking to them. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first. Take that bold step and make your way to the front very quickly. Very quickly. Inside and outside, if there are people coming, clear the way for them. Very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I believe there are still many more people. Make your way to the front. Those outside, in any of the overflows outside. Don't say, I'm so far. That's the lie of the devil. You're welcome. Make your way to Jesus. Run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Shame on the devil. Win that war over your destiny tonight. And let him give you a new beginning. Let him begin, give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. If you are still joining them, make your way. Those of us in front, thank you so much. I love you and I salute you for coming. Lift your right hand and say it after me. Very boldly, you are not reciting a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your grace. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. And I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm saved. I'm washed by the blood. From today, the Lord gives me a new beginning. 
I am a member of the household of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.